Okay, I'm hoping this one goes pretty quick and we're going to run through building, changing Webmin to become a, a more precise certificate authority as well as building a few uh, certificates through the Let's Encrypt system. Um, <clears throat> so inside your Webmin configuration you got two very important uh, modules here. You get your SSL encryption and your certificate authority. Uh, Webman has set itself up as a certificate authority already and for you to change that it's going to destroy the one that the Webman has already so when you try to reload after after this is done it, you're going to have to go through the approval process again in the browser to tell it this is a safe site to go to. So uh, let's go ahead and see what trouble we can get into here. So our domain name is I forgot. What was the... Was that a country code 01 or US? Uh, I can't remember. I think it's a US. Uh, just rip a quick tab over here uh. okay so it's a two-digit country code I'm sure it's US, but there it is, US. Okay, so there's that. In the state, oh. Let's see if the state's a full name or short name. I have such a short memory. Sometimes I worry about myself. Let's see. The name of your state or region. And boom. See, did the, do I break it? Is it going to break it? I think I might have written it up in the website details above here that uh, I did this once with command lines and I screwed up Webmin and I couldn't log into Webmin anymore. So let's see if it seems like it did it right. I don't think I got to restart it, but ah, there you go. Oh, and the you can't see that. So, uh, let's just back the hell out of here. Uh, and now we're going to go over to SSL and encryption and settings. Let's see. A lot of this looks right. And uh, I don't like this. 
was in here, I saw something about it naming it as Webmin, but it shouldn't have been named as Webmin. So I did, I, you know, maybe some of it didn't refresh. Yeah, I don't like that. Organization, it's saying the wrong thing. Should be saying the stuff that I just wrote in. doesn't go that well. See certificate the server is using is displayed. Change it by pasting in the certificate from another CA, but any certificates already issued to users will no longer work. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna wanna do some stuff here based on a Ubuntu help page. So I'm copying that. And then I'm going to go and put those pieces in a couple of spots. So we want others, file manager, and we want to zip around. Oh, it left off on the last place it was. Oh, you know what? And while I'm here, there's a funny thing about file manager. Oh. I buried the lead. So uh, it turns out in a previous set of videos I was wrong. The new authentic look that you see on the screen up here is uh, that's the new Webmin default theme. So I decided to stop changing it and just go ahead and keep using it. So uh, something that's different is this is a lot cleaner. So instead of having every function available, you've got them grouped in drop downs. But there's some stuff missing here from the screen. Where's our where's our options? Edit da, 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 tools da, 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 bookmarks. Da, 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 da. Refresh. Is it this module config? All right, here we go. So um, here's a couple of things. We don't. Just, Calculates types of numbers. Actions. Actions are hidden. Those are your edit and rename actions that you used to see when I in the other videos. So we don't want to hide those. Um, I kind of like drop down when the mouse hovers, so I'm going to do that. We're not hiding the toolbar. File type. Permissions. I like it. So save. And and also file manager tends to start off where you last left off, which I don't remember uh, happening before. So the the Ubuntu way of dealing with uh, certificates is etc SSL and then two other folders so etc EB oh. my own face is in the way here
SSL, and then there's two different folders, certs and private. Those are the places that um, that your things are going to go into. So uh, what was created successfully. So it should be somewhere near the end, but not quite, because capital L-M-N. That's what we're looking for. And inside that, I want the begin to end piece, not the private piece. So we save that, and we close that, and then up one directory here, in our private, we want to create a file, it's Create that file. And then we're going to edit it. Oh, I don't want to rename it. Cancel. Oh, shit. You can't edit it. Let's see. Cut. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's try that again. Okay, so let's fix this. We want private key stuff. saved and then we want to rename it and now we lose the edit okay so let's get back over here to configuration We're looking for etc. Oh, we're already we're getting close to it. Is there a dot dot at the top? There's your let's skip up a directory. So etc. We want private no no, we want SSL. I guess I could have clicked that twice, etc. SSL slash etc. God damn it. Thank you. 
certificate. Are we near? No, we're not anywhere near it, etc. before I'll bet. Alright, so See if we fuck the whole thing up. So finally, all right, so now we should be where we want to be. We got our certificate authority in there. We should be showing that's what we're talking about. Okay, all good. Okay, so at this point in the instructions, uh, you're told to work on a, a self-signed certificate. So we're going to just jump right back into our SSL encryption section. And we want to go ahead and make a self-signed certificate. Um, I, I have already used the subdomain, so I had to switch from email to this brand new one that I'm making. this and then we want to make sure we click that radio button for no if you leave that at yes what's going to happen is it's going to immediately overwrite your CA authority that you that I just showed you in the previous half of this video so make sure it says no to use key immediately. Create now. Boom. You got your certificate. It's gone into the file. Now you have a file with this entire generated key <clears throat> in the location that you told it to go. I personally want to split the two up because it's kind of the Ubuntu way. So up around here in file manager and let's see so it's set where are we like oh there it is SSL in the private section you'll notice I've got 
this one, which works, but because of, I think it's called canonical names, that's not working right for me. So I could copy this and then paste it over into the uh, search file, but instead I'm just going to make a brand new one. File, create new file. Let's see. Interesting. going to be in a whole new section of this sucker, so... I think page 15 is my... Oh, let's see, are we passing it yet? just need the search part so I'm gonna go ahead and save that I shouldn't say we just need uh, you should never have a key inside your cert file that's pretty bad okay uh, so we got I believe, I'm going to test soon, but uh, I believe 644 is right. So, um, so alt, let's see where letter E is. And there's my other one, so that one I could delete later, but uh, it doesn't hurt to just have it sitting there. So let's see. At this point, you have uh, divided files for your your key and your certificate, and you're going to follow the instructions the rest of the way down in that Ubuntu for setting up uh, your email. The links above and uh, you're just going to have to put in the names, uh, canonical names, the way you have them in, in here.